How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Blackjack's Armory. We're here at the old fort in Bermuda. This is the actual barracks. It was finished in 1853. And I want to show you guys these awesome mass cannons here. None of this stuff still works, but these are vintage from the, 18, from the 1800s. Come over here and take a look at these cannons. Absolutely, completely awesome. I can only imagine what these are going to sound like going off at one point in time. But if you come up over here, they still have the old royal seal still on them right here. Take a look at this. That's absolutely amazing. They, we can't fire them, unfortunately, but freaking amazing. Look at these. The whole, they got them all lined up. And here's the wall overlooking the sea. Which is now one of the beaches. But as you can see, you look out over, I mean, this is the whole keep up here. It is the commissioner's house. That's the big building you're seeing right up there. Some of the old uh, anchors, more cannons all the way down here. This, this place is pretty awesome. Now I was told they used to store powder in these right here. This is G Bastion right there as you can see on the sign. Some of the Royal Marines I was told would stay down here. And let's get a close up view of this, this cannon over here. This one's still set up as if it was ready to fire. Give you some more shots around this place. Yeah, I'm at the top of the keep here at the old naval dockyards in Bermuda. Look at this. You see this is the old brass is still here. Give you a view of what it would have seen. These are impressive as hell. I can only imagine the sound of this place when all these things would be firing at, these sh at the Spanish ships. See how the wall goes? I'll give you guys a view down here. See, this is where a cannon would have been facing out. If you tried to scale the walls right here, it would have probably ended pretty badly for you. I took some still photos of the moat that, for the only way from the mainland I needed to keep, I'll Daddy, post those up look. later. Some more cannons laying down. Those are the big ones down there. All these bricks, man. They said this, the last block was put in this place in 1853. So there are sections of it that go back to the 1700s. Look at this monster. This should be my new uh, everyday carry right here. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's a date on it. 1858, I believe it says. That's pretty awesome. Once you get down here, oh yeah, see, you got more cannons facing over the fort. Now the, the, the tour guide originally told me that Bermuda has never fallen to an invader. Although they did have some, uh, they did have some issues with pirates at one point in time. Uh, there was a, a peak way out here, I don't know if you can see it, but over there, that there's still nothing actually built out there. And that if you go out there, that's where the pirates used to set fires. Because during maritime law, you know, if, if there was a signal, somebody was in trouble, everybody went to respond. So what the pirates would do is set these bogus fires. And when you showed up, there, if you, when you see Bermuda, there is literally only like one or two spots to actually get a big ship through. It's all coral. So these ships would ram the coral. There was 300 shipwrecks off the coast here. That's pretty cool stuff. Check these out. Some of the shells are still here too. We went on a pirate excursion yesterday with one of those uh, glass bottom boats. Look at these shells, man. Put my hand on it so you can get an idea. And this one's even bigger than that one. That would definitely put a hole in a ship. Anyway, so the what I was talking about, but the guy that ran the tour on the, uh, the pirate excursion was telling me that, well, I never knew this, but apparently Bermuda played a very big part, or not a big part, but they did help during the American Revolution. At the post office here in Bermuda, they have a letter sent by George Washington asking if Bermuda wanted to join in the fight for independence. Now, they didn't do that, 
but I think it was the I think it was the commissioner at the time. His son stole all their gunpowder and had it shipped to George Washington. Took all the gunpowder off this island, and that was the same gunpowder that George Washington used to retake Boston. Now that's what I was told. That's pretty awesome if that's true. But check check out this view. Here's another one. Get some big ones up here guarding the walls. Any, any opening here, you can see that the British design is perfect because any way to get to a wall, there's a cannon facing straight at you. Any, could you imagine seeing a fleet coming this way? Oh, yeah. All you have to do is just pick it up and pour it. Yeah, the, it's no wonder this fort never never fell. It's, it's amazing the way they got it set up. That's how it's built. How long did you take to build it? You have to try another truck out there. No, I'm just joking here, but if you got to the top, apparently you'd have to get through these cactuses. <laughs> now here's your view. Look, hey, the commissioner's house is right back here, but look what's aiming straight at you. If you try to approach from here. You got three. And then one over there. All watching this whole bay right here. And actually, if I go around the corner, I don't know if you can see it well on the camera, but we got three more up by the British flag and the Bermuda flag. You got two more facing that way and one more facing that way. This place is pretty awesome. Check out how old the stone block here is. Like I said, a lot of this, some of this fort's been here since the 1700s. You can tell by the stonework. I mean, honestly, even once you leave the keep, even once you leave the keep, this whole this whole pretty much town here has been built inside of what was the old fort. It's really awesome. Check that out. Here's back where the gun crews would have been. Wow. That's all bird crap. This is E Bastion. That's poop, man. I bet the cactus was there for a reason. All right, guys. Well, if I get any more, I might splice a few things into this video. But uh, thanks for watching Blackjack's Armory. Give you one more view of the commissioner's house. All right, I'm behind those guns on Bastion E, I believe it is. Yeah. Look at the bore on these things. And these are the these are the original ones, but it's absolutely massive. And this whole, both of these two cannons here. You can see the ground here. This whole round cylinder area was able to be moved, so they could fire. I mean, damn near, basically 360 if they needed to, but I don't know if they'd want to. But as you can see, I mean, anything, anything in this line of fire here could be taken out by these cannons. And here's, if you look over here, here's where some of the old crank work was. This is, this is somehow how they managed to make it work. We're sitting there trying to figure this all out. You literally, once you come in here, man, they let you have the run of the place. They don't care. Here's some of the storage for the ammo. Check that out. Some of you guys watching is probably know more about this than I do. I'm just thinking this place is pretty awesome. Daddy, let's go down here. No, I'm not going down there, bud. It doesn't look very safe. Okay, we're down here below uh, Bastion E. What, like they don't care. We're, we're, we're checking out this whole place. Some of the rooms that were below these. I'll give you guys a first-hand view. Look at these. You can't even see anymore into there. Daddy, someone just pinched There's me. more of that chain system, Gary. All right, guys, check this out. We found this below Bastion E. Like Here's the old crank right here. All right. This is where the shells, you see, they got these trays here that say shell lift. These could be laid right onto here, maybe even the shells directly or the powder. Once you turn this crank, it sends it straight up to where I showed you before, where those two big guns were. So I would imagine you could do a pretty constant rate of fire out of here. Let's see what this is here. I'm guessing this is maybe where they stored more of the ammo and powder. This place is pretty awesome.
cartridges. Here we go. I don't know if you can read that, it's pretty dark in here, but it does say cartridges right above it where they can be sent out. Absolutely awesome. Last brick I said was 1853, man, and this place still looks amazing. Okay, we just left uh, Bastion E. Okay, now we're back at the com uh, commissioner's house. This brings us up to the next one. Same setup as the other. I love the pulley systems they had sent up to send the powder up one and the, uh, the rounds up the other, the shells. Coming up from the bottom of this one. This is Bastion D. Look at that monster. That damn thing is ridiculous. Yeah, see, there, look at the system underneath it here. You can see all the gears, how they were able to make this thing turn. Right here, this is the hatch attention of that crank room I was showing you before. So they can send the shells and powder up. Look at this. Look at that view here. You're seeing what it would have seen. And that cannon is huge. This is the biggest one I've seen yet. Of course, this is. This one, as you can see, it would rotate. You could turn it, there's all the cranks. So you'd have this huge field of fire right here. And any Spanish ship that came up through here, I'd have to have a really bad time. They even have armor on this one, look. I mean, that's a good one inch of solid steel. It actually gets fatter, see? Let's take you around to the front of there. this to you. Hey, am I gonna make it? It's still hollow. It's still open in there, but I mean as you can see it's time's getting to it, but that is a monster right there. Maybe it's just me, but the way all these little bunkers are set up, it totally reminds me of, of Normandy, Normandy Beach, the way the Germans had it set up. Absolutely awesome. And we got three more. So as you can see, once you get closer into the gall into the bay here, you got another cannon here and three more right in front of the house that can be moved on they're on wheels. I'm gonna go into the commissioner's mansion, see if they'll let me go in there, and I will film some more. Alright guys, we are now at Bastion C. So just like the other big one we saw, it was completely set up to turn. Now I noticed something walking up to this one. Here we go. Same silo to load it. Another one of the monsters. Now this one is directly in front of the commissioner's house. And I wanted you to see, you got more guns right there. I like how they have the Bermuda, the British, and the American flags all on here. But check this out. Even if you make it up the wall, which I don't even know that you could, you're getting past all these guns and the British soldier shooting down at you. You still got to get through this. Now they put up. And this may not have been here at that point in time. I don't know. You know, I'm just throwing that out there. But then they even got barbed wire surrounding the big gun. Like I said, that may not have been there at the time, or maybe something similar to it was there. But look at this. You have between this big gun and that one there. Forget about it. They said that this this particular you know, the, the Royal Port here, it withstood attacks from both pirates and the Spanish Armada, never fell. And when you look at the way this is set up, I mean, I don't, I don't know how you could disagree with that. I'm not sure how you could take it. Even if you get to the top, by the time you get here, you lost so many men, I don't know how you could even be effective at that point. If you look down the barrel, and as you can see, this one still has rifling in it. Or maybe it's not rifling, but there's definitely ridges off through it. And that one's actually cleaner than the other ones have been. You can actually see the other end. All right, we're gonna try and get the commissioner's house real quick, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. All right, guys, we're actually inside the fort, inside the cave at this point. And these rooms here, as you can see, I mean, people would carve things over the years into these walls. But this is what I thought was cool. At one point in time, one of those cannons would have been right here, aiming out there. Let's see if I can get to let you see what they would have been looking at. Any ship pulling up to drop any off. 
Here's another one. Parts of the... I, I'm not, not going to say I don't know everything about this stuff, you guys. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, he's full of shit. Well, I'm guessing because... Just, I'm not exactly from Bermuda and I'm not British. But anyways, this looks like this might have been part of one of the brown tracks that these guns sat on. But I think the ones in here were probably been on them bronze wheels. You can see what this one's off. Go out the hole here. Look at that. Just all you're climbing the wall right there, man. You're about to get lit up. Alright, let me show you how I walk down here. I, I think this place is awesome. If you guys come to Bermuda, be sure to check this out. They only charge you ten dollars and you, you get free run of the whole base here. Some very dark, creepy rooms. That one just goes to a dead end. I'm not exactly sure what that might have been. I don't have a light on this camera, so there's not much point going in there. So I'll come back out here. Hope you guys appreciate this video because this is the most splicing I've ever, I'm gonna have ever have done. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually caved in down there. And you come out. First thing you notice, man, is this really, really heavy iron door. You can open it. We came through it. All right, make sure I'm gonna go to the commissioner's house. Now. I think I said that three times. All right, guys, check this out. We're at the very base of the commissioner's mansion. They even have a statue. It looks like it's Poseidon. I'm guessing this was like the old, like maybe the muster yard where the troops would have met in the morning for formation. Because if you look, all these old buildings right around it. This is a pretty big area. It's beautiful. Commissioner could look down and see all the troops in formation down here. That's what I'm guessing. Like I said, a lot of this is me guessing, but it's still a very beautiful place. As soon as you walk out the uh, second floor door, which is right here, and as you can see, it's quite beautiful in here. It's very old. And uh, as soon as you walk out, you're back at the cannons I first showed you guys. These are the three to look out right out from the main entrance of the commissioner's house. All right, everybody, we're up here at the uh, commissioner's house, second floor. And as you can see, this is the courtyard I had I was at before. This is where all the soldiers would have stood in formation from what the one guy told me down there. As you can see, from the commissioner's house, you can see, the island's only 22 miles long, and you can see pretty much everything. Um, those are the cannons I first started you with, way over there. And now, if you look at the initial courtyard right here, now, if you look at the second part, that's the first thing I filmed. There's two cannons down there. That's, this is where the infantry barracks were for the Royal Marines. Okay? Now, the next set, now is all just shops. You walk in there, and people are selling stuff, and it looks really cool and vintage and old, but it's just shops. People selling knickknacks, whatever. Um, let me take you around to the side here real quick. Look over the edge. Some more cannons. This is where I started. Yeah, these are those old buildings from the 1800s. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give you one more shot of the walls here. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. Absolutely gorgeous. But, uh, well, thanks for watching Blackjack's Armory, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a little something. I really wish I could fire something, but there's nothing that's down here that's going to fire safely, being the newest one was from 1858, I think. But at least I hope you guys enjoy checking it out. Absolutely cool. Very awesome. And thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.